Mountains May with It's Always May, and I am here with Jerry Drager, and we are at Drager's Classics, and I'm about to go on a tour with Jerry. You want to tell me what we're going to be doing today? Well, we're going to take a tour of Drager's Classics where you can see a lot of different things. I've got classic cars, I've got motorcycles, I've got toys, I've got neon signs, I've got pedal cars, and I got fire engines, uh, big fire engines, uh, probably 30 fire engines alone that from the teens up and uh, plus a lot of other things to see. Well here's the first thing we start with is this mural. This mural here I had painted on the building and as you see it flows right on in so you can't tell where it ends and begins either up or down and this is downtown Edmonds is where this is at oh, okay. looking east and this 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 was off of a photo that was taken in 1932. 53, that's a 53 Chevy pickup that's in the back. Back there you'll see. This is a Woody Wagon I have. There's a 39 Buick sticking out. 39 Ford. 59 Harley right there and stuff. I mean these are these are all our pieces oh, wow, and stuff. That's so incredible. And can I ask you a question? So the person that is on that motorcycle is that supposed to be representing you or? Just that's me. That is me. I, we took a photo of me on sitting on the motorcycle and he painted it in real fast. It Very worked out well. So anyway, we have uh, parties in here and and. Uh, uh, we have, in fact, we're having a party this uh, Sunday we're getting ready for right now. Anyway, some reason or another, this horse gets a lot of attention. Mostly girls and women like to get on it and ride it. I, I never get any guys on it. So it, it's, uh, it gets used quite a bit from that standpoint. This is so tight. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. Now you're going to have to be on there for a while. It. So how long does this run for? Well, I've never messed with. No, it should run for a little while. Probably about the same as a horse. Uh, for some reason, this isn't working, and I'll probably never get it working anyway. I can't find out much information on this. I was told this was used in the uh, Viva Knievel movie, and uh, I got to rent the movie to find out. So, what exactly is this vehicle? This looks like this is a this is a quarter midget. Out of the 50s. Yeah. Uh, it's got a small engine in the back, and this is for kids mostly to, to run because you, you might be able to get in there, but uh, I don't know. I'm not very many people can get in there. This is a motorcycle that's the same age as me, too. This is a 1942, and it has, I have not had it running since 19. 65 probably. Last time I rode it was on a hill climb. I think it was the uh, Jolly Rogers uh, uh, hill climb there. Oh, and that picture right there. No, the, see where it says hill climb oh, right there? Okay, right, okay. But that's not necessarily the one I was at, but that's, oh, okay. that's the place where it took place. And uh, anyway, uh, that's the last time it's ran. It's a, uh, people might want to know what it is. It's a 1974 Harley Davidson knucklehead. Uh, they just sold a knucklehead like this, not like this, I shouldn't say like this, they just sold a knucklehead that was all restored stock for $165,000. This is a matchless that belonged to Larry Poitras, Polk Cycle, here in Seattle. I okay. bought it from his son after he died. He was a very good friend. Whizzer. And this in here, my mother was highly involved in the Motor Maids of America. She rode, she rode motorcycles cross country by herself, uh, and uh, she's she did a lot of riding. Uh, and then she was a state director of the Motor Maids for here. And this is some of our from way back in the Harley Davidson days when we were in the motorcycle business. Some of these are her trophies and my dad's trophies. That's one of my mother's right there and stuff. Oh, so. That's incredible. You can see we have a lot of neat cars in here, and uh, they they come and go. I never know when they're going to sell. The Woody Wagon over here is one of my favorites, and I haven't been any any hurry to try and sell it at all. Uh, it's a 1947 Chevy. It's been upgraded with the engine and transmission in it and power steering. This wood was all restored. Uh, this car originally was bought in uh, San Diego by a guy who lived in San Francisco. Then he moved to Seattle, had the engine and transmission installed in it, 
and then they moved to uh, Victoria, B.C., and he had the wood all restored there, and uh, very expensive to have it have it restored. He moved back to Seattle and his son was just about to turn 16 and he says, I don't want my son driving this car. So I bought it from him and I've had it five, six years now and I've taken it to Woody shows and, and displayed it at different events and oh, wow. stuff. So, from so time what was to time. the year for this car? 1947. 1947. Now, this uh, auto parts sign right there, that's uh, got Seattle history in it. I have no idea how old that sign is, but I would say probably out of the 40s oh, would be my guess. And it, it's set over West Seattle Auto Parts in West Seattle for years, and uh, now it's hanging on my wall. Anyway, we try to find really neat uh, cars all the time. This car is a beautiful 37 Ford. Uh, it's a street rod. The, this this car was done 28 years ago. 28 years ago. And the paint is beautiful. I, I you'd spend 30 grand having a car painted this nice. I mean, it is incredible uh, mm. paint job on it. It's a little dusty right now, but I want to tell you, it is just really, uh, really a neat piece. Here's another so, thing I like are these trucks. I do a lot of these uh, Chevy uh, five window pickups, like. They got this this corner window and it oh, okay. gives them two more windows and they call it a five window. One, two, two three, four, four five. They don't count the windshield when they do that. Oh, so. okay. And you got the beautiful wood bed in them and everything. Oh. So I mean, you, if you stand back and look, you can just it gives you a better idea how much how many things there are in this place, like all the. Uh, all the different signs and everything. That I, mm. I, I'm out of wall space and I keep, I keep buying more all the time. So it just, uh, it, it's a it's continual incredible. collection. It's a great collection. This motorcycle right here is a 1959 Harley Davidson. Uh, it's original. It actually, these saddlebags are newer, but Tex Myers was a country western singer here in Seattle. Oh. He, Willie Nelson and him would, would have got along real well together, I think. So those, anyway. This is a 1950 uh, BSA that was all restored. 53 Cushman uh, Highlander scooter. This is a 1937 Harley Davidson right here. And this 1937's got 10 miles on a total restoration on it. Uh, Only 10 miles? Oh, and since it was restored. Oh, since it got Yeah, and this motorcycle, uh, we've probably sold it new. As in, this is a what they call a pacer. Actually, this and, and this is this is uh, 1961 or so. And you can see this tag right here. It says Auto Drager Motorcycles on oh, on there, okay. and, and we used to put those tags on on everything. So this is a this is a Honda uh, 1966 Honda uh, Wizard. This is this is kind of a rare piece too. You don't see very many of these Wizard. Uh, this was an original Wizard. Wizard didn't make complete. They made a kit to put in your bicycle, and this one is complete. Uh, they they made that whole thing. Okay, but you don't see a lot of these in round well, you don't see hardly any of them. Oh, okay. So you'll see a lot more wizards like this one right here. This has been restored uh, a long time ago. I rode this on the Isle of Ash on, which is a vintage motorcycle ride, and my son rode the Highlander Cush Cushman back there. So my granddaughter loves this. She she's funny. Too bad she isn't here because she she'll uh, lift up the uh, engine deal here, and she'll she'll go over and. Uh, get wrenches out and she'll be down here doing stuff like she's working on it. Oh, okay. That's the reason I put this tape on here so she wouldn't drop anything down in the oh. carburetor. Now, back in the motorcycle days, I, uh, my guys who were working for me, they all, they all uh, rode unicycles and stuff. And, Was that and, a requirement? No, oh. they just did. And uh, they were, and so I was down at one of our trade shows, motorcycle trade show down in California back in the 60s. So this thing's kind of an antique now. I think a lot of people think it's old, but it's a reproduction of the high wheeler. And I used to ride this thing quite a bit. And you can see here we've got uh, a lot more stuff in here. I mean, 
I have so much stuff we haven't even hung it all up. And like here, I got to, there's a Bob Hope poster I found, John Wayne ones and stuff. Uh, and I just, all sorts of stuff. It just keeps adding. I keep finding stuff. Anyway, uh, this truck right here, everybody always gets a kick out of this truck. See, I grew up in these pickups. This is a, really? uh, well, yeah, I mean, when I, I, we had one of these for a shop truck. So uh, I was, used to drive it a lot before I was even 16. Now, the interesting thing about this particular pickup, it's a 1953 Chevy pickup. And I won this on a $5 raffle uh, ticket in 1997. That's the other interesting thing about it, which even gets better as it goes. It was complete with this brand new Harley Davidson in here. Mm. And that motorcycle has been in here all those years. I've never unloaded it. Andrew got this truck. This was his first vehicle right here when he was 16. And I bought this truck in Boise, Idaho. So how can we find you? You can go to Dregers. Dot com. Uh, that's D R A G E R S dot com. If you weren't doing what you're doing now, what would you be doing instead? I'd be doing this. Okay. I mean, I I love doing this. I've been having a great time. I I I don't see myself ever stopping. Ever stopping. I love that answer.